Hello everyone, and today I will, uh, I will in, in, introduce about US Open Tech and how big data solutions. Uh, today we will mainly, mainly talk about the integrations uh, with uh, um, OpenStack and Hadoop. Uh, firstly, we will introduce uh, what, what is US. And uh, um, US is uh, uh, developed based on the OpenStack core project and uh, set uh, to provide infrastructure services. And also, uh, it also integrates with lots of uh, past platforms, uh, such as uh, 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 to provide uh, the big data services, container services. And U US is also unified platforms for enterprise um, users to leverage its features to build their uh, applications fast, stable, and reliable. And so uh, here we will introduce something about the design background of the US. Uh, for those public cloud services like AWS, uh, customers just need to focus on their uh, applications um, and uh, offloading all the uh, in infrastructure considerations to their service provider. Uh, but customers just need to choose the providers and trust their IT infrastructure and evolution tendencies ba based on the fast product, uh, product iterations, customer can uh, continue to leverage the new features and uh, benefit from them without any modifications in their application layer. But in recent 10 years, public cloud service becomes more and more matured. And however, it is not the same stories uh, in private cloud. The evolution of the private cloud is much slower than public cloud either on the new technology innovations or uh, the customer uh, uh, acceptance. And the, one of the, the important reasons is in the public cloud platform, all services come from one provider so that the interactions um, and the integrations between services is perfect. And therefore, users is easy to learn and use it. However, in current private cloud, different providers have different features. And even for the same features, different ways to use it. So it's hard for the users to know all the product and uh, choose the best one. Uh, also, a powerful private platform needs to integrate uh, at least tens of upstream or self-designed sub-modules, which may face the problems mentioned above. And uh, we may in, uh, integrate uh, um, the, such as storage services, these uh, sub-clusters, and uh, the infrastructure uh, services, the core services uh, like compute services for Nova project and uh, um, uh, um, the network services, the Neutron uh, project, and so on. Based on the uh, S platforms, uh, we may also integrate with a lot of past uh, modules like, like Hadoop's and uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundations, and also the Kubernetes as a container services. So you, yours is the, uh, just the enterprise product to integrate most common used services with unified deployment and uh, ad admin operations uh, with uh, friendly user interfaces. And so why we need a US? And uh, uh, first of all, we use US to use uh, with, with, with the friendly uh, graphic user interface. Uh, 
we can use the private cloud to achieve the public cloud user experience. Uh, also, based on the integrated with, with uh, US DevOps tools, it's easy to scale up, scale down um, the services and also uh, uh, for software upgradings. Uh, based on high availability uh, architectures, uh, uh, we provide a stable and reliable as, as platforms and the uh, uh, US also purely ba uh, is purely uh, is designed purely based on the uh, open source so no vendor lockings here and uh, what our customers uh, always to do, how how our customers always to deploy uh, the applications uh, um, for all customers, uh, the applications always deployed in several ways uh, showed below. Uh, applications can deploy on bare metals because some applications uh, may, uh, may be hard to uh, deploy and uh, comfortable uh, with, with the virtual machines. And also, um, uh, our users want to uh, deploy the uh, applications on the uh, 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 virtual machines uh, in the uh, OpenStack or VMware hypervisors. And uh, uh, for those stately services, users want to deploy it in container clusters like Kubernetes. And uh, for data, uh, for those data processing works, um, users may want to build their uh, Hadoop clusters to run those works. And uh, so, uh, based on those uh, applications uh, user case, uh, we want to in integrate the Hadoop clusters in the OpenStack. And so, what's the current situation uh, for the uh, uh, for, 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 for to, to integrate uh, Hadoop in OpenStack? The, the the project is, uh, in OpenStack is that uh, is called Sahara. Sahara is integrate Hadoop clusters uh, into OpenStack, and uh, uh, it uses heat as a resource or orchestration managers uh, uh, use uh, the Truth and uh, Swift as data sources and use the vendor plugins to provision Hadoop clusters. So we can base on the heat orchestration template and uh, to guide the OpenStack uh, to build the certified VMs for the data processing workers. So, uh, how to provide Hadoop data processing services in UOS? And uh, the solution is uh, 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 our, uh, our uh, we we think uh, uh, what we think to do is to to just integrations and uh, integrate the Hadoop cluster on UOS as platforms. So. Uh, we can use, uh, so all the experimental services are managed by the OpenStack, uh, and while past services are deployed on it. And so all experimentals can be quick provision and configurations. Uh, for different applications, um, um, provisions, uh, we can provision uh, different VFV, uh, virtual machines to satisfy them. So, uh, the, the base stack is a lot of experimentals and we uh, build the open stack cluster and based on the ask services we can uh, deploy uh, the Hadoop cluster and the Kubernetes cluster and, and so uh, on and uh, other pass uh, services and so uh, 
this is uh, the one of the suggested uh, experimental nodes in US. Uh, um, at the top of the, uh, uh, the rank, uh, we can see we use two switches, one gigabyte uh, switch and uh, one 10 gigabyte switch. Uh, the one gigabyte switch is the for, uh, for 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 the management, and uh, uh, the 10 gigabyte switch is used to uh, transfer data. And uh, uh, one of the uh, operations nodes uh, to integrate with UOS operation tools to do the operation. Uh, for the whole cluster and uh, uh, three control nodes. Uh, th this control nodes is deploy the open tag API services and uh, make, make make those API services a high availability. Uh, then we can use the general purpose uh, computing nodes and uh, 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 several big data, uh, uh, big data computing nodes. Uh, the storage is uh, uh, built based on the set of uh, OSD services. Uh, so this is the network topology. Uh, and uh, NIC1, NIC2 is uh, uh, connected to the one gigabyte switch. And uh, the NIC1 is uh, um, a provision network to install the OS or uh, the, the, the opera uh, operating systems. And uh, uh, the NIC2 is the management network. And uh, NIC3, NIC4 is, uh, is a bonding and uh, to provide uh, uh, Tenant VM network, storage cluster network, storage man management network, and uh, experimental, uh, the, the, the external network. So, uh, some problems may be uh, exist to set up the Hadoop uh, clusters on open pack as platforms and the our customers always worried about uh, that uh, uh, the performance issues to set up the Hadoop on as platforms and uh, also uh, our users is always uh, to use the traditional ways to deploy and use a Hadoop cluster so enterprise users may be familiar with the traditional ways that uh, is uh, deploy those uh, the Hadoop clusters on the environmentals. But its drawbacks is that uh, uh, in the enterprises, it's, it's a lot of clusters, separate clusters, uh, one open stack clusters, one Hadoop clusters, and one uh, Kubernetes clusters. So uh, it is not good to, um, to, to, to operate and manage management. Uh, also, uh, the users may uh, concern how to leverage the Hadoop features. Uh, for example, the Hadoop name node can schedule uh, the compute task to the worker nodes where the data is. So this is the data localities. Then may also may just retrieve the raw data form and store the final data to object storage and uh, um, other intermediate result is better to store the locally. So based on the, those kind of considerations, uh, our uh, general purpose computing node is, is for the, the general VMs. Uh, that is, uh, um, it, it, its root disk and the data disk is based on libRBDs. Uh, and uh, for the big data computing nodes, um, the Hadoop VMs this is different from the general purpose VMs. Uh, its root disk is also based on the, the set volumes, but the, 
uh, the data uh, disk is uh, directly used uh, raw devices on the local nodes. So it uh, will achieve the highest performance. So this is the, uh, one of our tests uh, for the Hadoop on OpenStack is Hadoop on AWS. And the task is run the terra sort 10 uh, gigabyte data for, for the sorting task. And uh, we build uh, the AWS EMR VM flavors at four VMs with speed uh, to X large. Uh, and we also uh, build the Sahara VM flavors uh, with, with the exactly the, the same uh, configurations. So we, we can see that uh, for the AWS EMRs, it's uh, to, to uh, for the so, for the uh, for the sorting task is cost about four uh, four uh, uh, more than four minutes. But uh, in the uh, in our uh, Sahara uh, Hadoop service, it just cost uh, one minute uh, one. Uh, one uh, one minute and uh, thirty seconds. So the, this is our conclusions. It's uh, uh, we can uh, benefit for, for to we, we we can build Hadoop Castle on Open Stack and uh, uh, um, it really has a lot of benefit. And the first one is the high performance. It also can achieve the high performance and uh, uh, we can have efficient schedulers. Uh, maybe uh, the enterprise have a different department and uh, the uh, different department can provision their, uh, will quickly provision their uh, uh, Hadoop uh, clusters differently and also uh, can def uh, quick deployment and uh, outstanding scalabilities. Uh, if the Hadoop node is not enough, we can scale up the, uh, the, the Hadoop VM node very quickly. Uh, also lose the coupling uh, between application and software and leverage the benefit in us. So actually we just need uh, one of the uh, uh, OpenStack clusters and uh, the uh, administrators uh, just to manage one cluster that is OpenStack cluster and all of the, those other clusters like Hadoop cluster and uh, the uh, Kubernetes cluster can build uh, on the uh, OpenStack as uh, platforms and uh, to provide uh, other pass services uh, uh, so this is our, just, just our uh, 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 solutions for the uh, integrations uh, with Hadoop, uh, uh, integrate Hadoop with open tax. And uh, thank you of all, and this is all the, uh, all, 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 uh, informations and, uh, I introduced today. Thanks.